Hi guys, I'm Sam, aka Time to Fill Alive. This is an in-depth guide of every step you'll need to get the Cute Charm exploit working on your Gen 4 game, without using the Game Shark or any other method of cheating. Uh, the tools involved don't connect to the game, they're just on your PC and are there to help you manipulate the RNG. Uh, all you need is a 3DS or a DS and a cartridge. Uh, you will also need a couple simple programs that will be available in the description down below. Cute Charm is an ability that has an outer battle effect, which causes Pokemon of the opposite gender to appear more often. It won't work on fixed gender Pokemon, such as Kangaskhan, Latios, or Tauros. It also won't work on genderless Pokemon, so it won't work on a lot of Steel types and Legendaries other than Heatran. When Cute Charm works, which is a two-thirds chance, it modifies the PID, which is the personality value of a wild Pokemon. In Gen 4, if you have the right Trainer ID and Seeker ID, which can't be seen, that match up with the correct PID, the chances of finding a shiny skyrocket. Simple. Alright, so the method. First, you'll need a blank copy of a Gen 4 game, i.e. Diamond, Pearl, Platinum, Heart Gold, or Soul Silver, ready to go. Preferably, before you continue, you'll need a friend or another system and game that'll let you trade a cute charm on into the game. This way, you can use the glitch as soon as you can trade. If you don't do this in Diamond, Pearl, Platinum, you'll need to wait until you either evolve a Baneri that you get from Eterna Forest into Lopunny, or get a Cleffa or Clefairy from Mount Coronet. Even worse, in Heart Gold, Soul Silver, you'll have to wait until Kanto, until you can get a Jigglypuff. Once that's sorted, you'll need to download and unzip the latest versions of RNG Reporter and Eon Timer, whose links will be in the description. There's also a link to a guide from Smogon. Most of the information in this video comes from there. It's a more detailed explanation of how this works, but it can be a bit hard to wrap your head around. So on the link, scroll down to the tables, and we're going to pick a hex from one of these natures. For the best chance of finding a shiny, choose a hex from group 1 to 3 of the male lead section. This will mean all your shinies will be female, but it's the best odds available. You can also choose from the female leads if you prefer male shinies, but you have less chance of finding them. Choose the group depending on which natures you prefer, as these will be the only natures that will appear as shinies. I wouldn't choose group 4, as it only has one nature, which means less shinies. Copy one of the strings and open up RNG Reporter. Go to the 4th gen dropdown and open up TID slash SID manipulation, Pandora's box. Paste the hex in the desired PID box, type in your desired year, and then set your minimum delay to 6000. Check infinite search and then find compatible seeds. Once you have a few, you can hit cancel to stop it searching. I didn't do this, it just stops it searching infinitely. Choose an ID you like from the list that appears. The ID and SID don't need to be the same. It'll be useful to take a note of the seed, ID, SID, and delay somewhere for reference. Go to the drop down for fourth gen tools and choose seed to time. So that's up here. Type out the seed number in the seed to hex box exactly as it appears, caps and all. I'm using a slightly older version of RNG Reporter, so I'm able to just paste mine here. For some reason they changed it so that you have to type it out. Don't know why they did this, kind of strange, but whatever. Check the seconds box and put in 23 seconds. Make sure you've checked what game you're playing and then generate. The info that appears is what we're gonna use in the Eon Timer. Again, I'm using a slightly outdated version of Eon Timer. Yours will look like this. It's just aesthetic changes, it functions exactly the same. Firstly, on the timer, check that the settings are set to the console you're using. So I'm using a 3DS, but if you're using a DS, set it to NDS. Next, let's make sure it's on Gen 4 at the top up here. So click that. Then we're going to input our info. For the calibrated delay, try 600 for Diamond Pearl Platinum and 490 for Heart Gold Soul Silver. Leave the calibrated seconds as they are. The target delay will be what we have in seed to time. So for me, it's 5981. The target seconds will be 23. But if you're playing Heart Gold Soul Silver, take away free from that. So it'll be 20 seconds. This is the only place where we take those away. Okay, now that that's set up, set the date and time in your DS or 3DS to the date that we have in Seed to Time. The one I'm using you can see selected in the blue in the Seed to Time box in the top right hand corner. So that's going to be the 1st of the 8th. So 01, 08, 2020. Okay. 
then the time that we're going to use is 0223. So 0223. But you can see on the Eon timer here, it says minutes before target 2. So we're going to bring this back down to 0221. Now that we've done that, we're going to go press the start button on the Eon timer and set the time at the exact same time. Now we want to get back to the home screen as quickly as possible. On the 3DS, we just press the back buttons. On a DS, we'd reset and wait on the home screen. This does take a hot minute, but once we get to the home screen, we're going to go over to our game and hover over that until the Eon timer hits zero. It's going to count us in with six beeps, and exactly on that sixth beep, that's when we're going to press A and go into the game. So we're just going to wait here for a bit. And if we do this correctly, we should get the right ID and secret ID but don't expect that to happen on the first try. All right, well, that felt a little bit off, but never mind. We want to try and get through this intro as quickly as possible, and the fastest way we can do this is to hold down B and rapidly press A. So let's just get through this, and since this is a new game, we're going to go straight into Rowan after the screen. In a minute, he's going to ask us if we need any advice. Make sure you slow down a little bit there and click no info needed. So on this line, slow down a bit, go down to that and cool. Then this Pokeball will pop up. Make sure you click in the middle of this instead of pressing A, because if you don't, another line of dialogue will pop up and slow you down. Next up, we're going to choose our gender and enter our name nice and fast. So I'm just going to choose the boy as that's easier and I don't really have any preference. And now I'm going to enter my name really quickly. There we go. For the rival, when he comes up, I'm probably just going to call him Barry to save some time. You can try and name them if you have a bit of extra time yourself, but there's no real point. I'm just going to call it Barry. I don't really care. Now. Here, because I'm playing Platinum, I keep pressing A until I get to the TV screen. In Hard Gold Soul Silver, you'll need to wait until Oak's last line of dialogue, which I popped up on the bottom screen of the DS. Alright, so now we're going to get to the TV. We will wait here until the timer counts us in again. Then we do the same as last time. We press A on the sixth beep. Still got like 10 seconds, so just wait for this to run down. Again, that wasn't perfect. You want to try and be as accurate as you can when you're doing that. Get through these text boxes once you're here, and then we're going to check our trainer card to see what ID we landed on. All right, that's not the idea that we're going for, but that's fine. Don't worry, not all is lost here. You're not expected to get the ID on the first try, but you can use this ID to get a more accurate idea of what your delay is in your 3DS or DS. What we're going to do now is open up Pandora's box and copy and paste your seed into the seed brackets hex box in the top right hand corner. You can see that mine's already there. This is the seed that we chose at the start of this video. It's going to be the one that's probably still highlighted in here. So you can see mine is the same down there as it is in the top corner. 3602 blah 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 blah. Enter the trainer ID you got in that attempt into the trainer ID obtained box. So mine was 41181. Then enter the month, day, year, hour, minute that we have. So this was at the start of the process. I used 08, 01, 2020, 02, 23. The minimum delay is going to be put to 5,000 and the maximum delay to 10,000. These are the standard ones I use. Then find compatible seeds. Look for the seconds that's closest to 23. This could be from 21 to 25. If you get any higher or lower than this, I'd probably just restart the process and go back to the data you used when you first started the Eon timer. I've done it reasonably accurately, so mine is at 23. Note that even in Heart Gold Soul Silver, it will be 23 even though we use a delay of 20 there. Check the delay you hit, which for me is 5606. We put that delay hit on the Eon timer and then we hit update. You can see that it updates the calibrated delay on the Eon timer, which means it's more attuned to our 3DS or DS. Also note that we hit an even delay, so that's the 5606, and what we're aiming for is an odd delay, 5981. When this happens, we have to change the letters from uppercase to lowercase when we enter a name. I'll show you this in a second. I'm not exactly sure why this is, but it won't work otherwise. 
And now we're just going to go through the process again. So I will fast forward and show you the relevant bits. Alright, as I was saying earlier, because we hit an even delay and we're aiming for an odd delay, when I go into the naming process here, before I enter it, I switch it from uppercase to lowercase. You'll do this every time that you get the opposite delay of what you're aiming for. So if you're aiming for an even delay and you get an odd delay, you would switch the case you used. Okay, so we're back to the screen again. Let's check our ID and find out whether we got the right seed. We didn't, but that's fine. We're going to take that trainer ID again and do the same thing. Chuck it back into the trainer ID obtained in Pandora's box. Leave all of the rest of the info the same, they don't change. Find the seed and the one that's closest to 23, which this time is 24. So I'll take that delay, which is 5985. Enter it into the delay hit on Eon Timer update it, and we're going to go back to the home screen and start this whole process again. This is probably going to take you a few tries, so don't worry if you don't get this on your first few goes. When I first tried this, it took me a couple hours to get right. Basically, like I said earlier, you just want to try to be as accurate as possible with your clicks, like trying to get the time resets and the start button here at the exact same time. And maybe just a bit of luck. But if you keep going, eventually you should get it. Just to chime in here, I actually messed this attempt up and asked Rowan for some advice when we started it. So I just scrapped this and restart with the same information we used from the last attempt. That is it. That is the delay we're looking for. I'm not sure how I managed to get this in four or five attempts. That was just pretty good luck on my behalf. I'll put the trainer ID into Pandora's box over on the right, find the seeds, and I'm pretty sure we got mm, this one. Because I definitely didn't get a delay of one, and I don't think I was slow enough to get a delay of 26. To prove this is the right seed, what I'm going to do is play through the game up until I get to Mount Coronet to get a Cleffa for my cute charm on. I know I said not to do that earlier, it's much easier to trade one into the game, but I don't want to save after I get my starter, as I want a soft reset for a shiny one, which you can't use the cute charm glitch on. So I'll be right back, and we'll see if we did get the right seed. Alright, so I'm back with my male Cleffer with cute charm that we got from Mount Coronet. The female one is in my party as I used it as cute charm to find the male one. Here is my ID, so you can see that it's still the same save file as before. And now let's see if the cute charm exploit is working. There we go. The first encounter is a shiny. Beautiful. Just to prove that this is working, I'm going to fast forward a little bit, just so that you can see that it only takes a few more encounters to find another one. Hopefully. Please also don't be mad that I ran away from this thing. Shinies are so common with this exploit works that it doesn't even matter. And um, besides, I'm resetting after this is done. <laughs> there she is. A beautiful, shining Bidoof. What a Pokemon to end this video on. This is definitely the seed I was looking for. The cute charm glitch is for sure working in this game. I may have found a bunch of shinies on the way back to the route, so it definitely is. As I said before, I was pretty lucky with how quickly I found my seed. If it does take you guys longer, don't give up. Just keep at it and eventually you'll get yours. Then with the cute charm on, you'll get as many shinies as I just did. They'll be popping up here, there and everywhere. Thank you so much for watching this video. 
It's taken me a long time to get ready, as you can tell from the length of my hair, but I hope it does help you out. If it does, please leave a like or a comment or even drop a sub, as that will really help me out. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.